Hi, I'm Professor Richard Thompson. I'm a marine biologist and I'm based at the University of Plymouth. And for the last 20 years or so, in fact, since I was an undergraduate myself, one of my interests has been in the, the fate of plastics, plastic debris in the marine environment. And it, over the last five or six years, it's become an increasingly important part of the, the research work that I do here. Over the last 60 years or so, the quantities of plastic that we've been producing have, have increased exponentially from around about 5 million tonnes in the 1950s to in excess of 250, 260 million tonnes today. In fact, we've produced more plastic in the first 10 years of the current century than we did in the entire century which preceded it. And the point I wish to make first of all is there's nothing fundamentally wrong with plastics whatsoever. In fact, you know, I believe for the rest of the century ahead and beyond that, that um, plastics are an essential material that we're going to need to reduce man's footprint on the environment. But at the moment, we've got things a little bit out of balance and that one of our main uses of, of plastic, in fact, a third of, of all the plastics we produce are used for disposable single use items that within around about a year of production are thrown away. And it's that kind of valueless throwaway culture that we've adopted and particularly adopted with plastics and the reason plastics have been singled out is because they're inexpensive, they're durable, they lend themselves very well to items of packaging to get food and drink to us in the supermarkets for example but because they're so inexpensive it means that at the end of life we're designing them rather than to be turned into a new product of value we're designing them with the idea that they're simply going to be thrown away and I think it's that that's really at the root of the problem in terms of litter in the natural environment. We, we now find plastic debris widespread in the oceans at the sea surface, down to the seabed, from the poles through to the equator. It's almost impossible to find a shoreline that's not contaminated with plastic debris. Right down in the deep sea we're finding plastic debris. We're also finding debris on the top of, top of mountains. So it's very very widespread plastic debris in the environment but it's also very very durable and we know from plastics of, um, of, um, of set identity that have been traced uh, we can date some of the plastics present in the environment back to uh, fighter planes from World War II that's still around and being regurgitated by seabirds that have eaten it relatively recently so year on year we're accumulating more and more plastic debris in the ocean and part of the problem I think here is that we regard these end-of-life plastics as being virtually valueless and so society doesn't pay a lot of attention to the way that we dispose of the plastic.